So I've known Kanye for 20 years almost. I got a text from him and he was at the Mercer Hotel. It was during this whole Watch the Throne sessions. They had rented the whole hotel out because that's what you do when you're Kanye West. So I got invited over there. I was like, wow, this is like a big deal. This is cool because it means you're like, what's happening right now? Am I, am I right? I'm going to Kanye's thing and Jay-Z's there too. So I'm like, cool, they're gonna pick one of my beats. I'm gonna be famous, producer of the year. It's gonna be the best year of my life. So I go to the Mercer Hotel. There's like three rooms. There's Kanye, there's Jeff Basker, who's all doing everything. And then there's uh, the guy from Fun. Tonight, whatever that, I don't know what he was doing there. Some guy was cutting Kanye's hair. There's a guy rolling weed. He's like, oh, Diplo, I like that song you would do. Like a little, I don't know what I did. I did a Chris Brown song or something to come out. But he kept saying to me like, what, Diplo, I want you to do some of your, some cool beats, but not the clown sounds. So anyways, like I got a job for you. Um, let me take this other room real quick. So I'm like, oh cool, Kanye's got a job for me. This is gonna be dope. It's like, look, Diplo, come to this room. I got this other guy from Africa here. You guys just do this, what you do. And uh, I want you to make this song awesome. Also, I'm bringing Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen over too because they're like my thermometer for like what white girls listen to, I guess, which is what's is the strange part of the whole thing. So Mary-Kate Ashley Olsen was there and I was sitting with this guy named Don Jazzy, who's like a Nigerian producer. And he was just Twitter, Twitter going on, like trying to work on the beats, but he was just doing tweet, tweet stuff, even though I really wasn't doing anything good. I was kind of nervous. Mary Kay Ashley Olsen's breathing down my neck. Kanye kept showing up. At one point he came with Kim Kardashian in there. And this is when she was still married to the guy that looked like Blake Griffin. I forgot his name. You know what I'm talking about? And, um, and she was really pretty actually. I thought, this is, Kanye is such a cool guy. And I was just sitting there by myself and thinking like, man, this is a failure. I'm not really gonna get producer of the year for this song at all. And this African guy hates me. Went back to my hotel, came back the next morning, I had to fly up. I wanted to go check on the song. And then T-Pain was there. And everybody was like, T-Pain's here. But T-Pain kicked everybody out of the room because he had this auto-tune settings that nobody was trying to steal. And, and he just did it secretly. Kanye came back. He like opens the door. I'm packing my bags up, trying to get out of there just as fast as I can. Cause I just, I failed at this whole session. And he says, um, guys, I'm gonna marry Kim Kardashian. I'm gonna be president one day. I'm gonna be a fashion designer. That was my Kanye story.